Welcome to 2020. Happy New Year and thank you for the support in 2019. We're here today to give back to you and to yeah. answer all those questions that you have so kindly taken the time to write in the comments. Our first Q&A video for 2020. My name is Jens. My name is Tony. Let's dig into this right away. Number one single-handed question is why don't we do our video content in German? There's a very simple reason for that. Number one is our entire relationship relationship is in English so my sarcasm comes from the UK and from the English humor you can't recreate that in German it's literally impossible reason number two is that when we go out and film there's so many unforeseen things that happen it's got to be a glitch has not it we just can't recreate and we want to be authentic but you're on a video I'm in the garden center and really show you guys what the device or what the issue is at the moment, at that single moment in time, right? Exactly. So when we're out and things go wrong, we're actually talking to each other, maybe swearing in English. <laughs> it doesn't work. There's nothing. There's no noise, nothing. <laughs> the speaker's not very well. It needs to go to watch heaven. So we need very to much show so. you that. Question number two, Samsung Galaxy Watch Active number two, stainless steel versus aluminum. And the most single question on that video really is, is this really a Bluetooth only version? And people are kind of saying, know your stuff before you post the video. So just to clarify, it is a Bluetooth version only. We get three types of Samsung Galaxy Watches Active 2 here in Germany. Number one is an alum aluminum, number two is a stainless steel, Bluetooth only, and number three is an LTE, also stainless steel. So we have three choices if you like. Number three, JP Navidad, he's asking, um, basically he has a Tab S6, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with six gigabyte of RAM. And he's asking us, how has the performance kept up for us? And as a matter of fact, we're using the eight gigabyte of RAM version all the time in order to kind of do the comparison with all the other devices we have. And we do some punchy stuff and we want to really have that power available so we can't really say how the six gigabyte version is holding up because we are not using it and the eight gigabyte is holding up okay very much so mario navalon asks if there is google maps available on the samsung galaxy active 2 lte version well let me put it straight do you have an application that is called navigation pro for one dollar fifty i believe in the google play store and then you can put that on the samsung galaxy watch active 2 whether it is lte or not both will work with that application nyc bike 73 ask us what the battery life is like between the Active 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch, whether we like the Samsung ecosystem and Samsung in general, their products. Yeah. I would say yes to the yeah. final answer. But with regards to battery, the OG is actually a tad better than the Active 2. It really depends on what you use it for. So if you have the normal Galaxy Active 2 or Galaxy Watch non-LTE version, then they last longer in general. But if you have the LTE version and you go without your phone then the battery will drain crazy in terms of ecosystem i'm not a big fan of any ecosystem because it does limit you every time we test a android phone or a galaxy phone and we try to communicate with each other we have to use third-party apps like whatsapp in order to do so and it is really a pain in the bottom i have to say but in general we like samsung products we think they're off to a great venture this year yes. with all the stuff that's coming out 100 manisha in india is asking when the one you i 1.5 will come out for the samsung galaxy watch active one and the galaxy watch and that is really difficult to answer we have reached out to samsung several times in order to get an idea or release schedule if you like and we haven't received any answers yet so it is your guess as good as ours really and even we had some people commenting there are in the us some people have received the update within the us and some haven't so it is really sporadic at this point and we don't know when it comes out in india we are very sorry Laurie Lopez asks us, what do we like about the Canon EOS RP the yeah. most? And does it have any advantages over the EOS R? I think the only advantage it has over the EOS R is its weight. It's lighter. It's than, smaller. It's smaller, really. But we actually saw the EOS RP. We had a bit of a moment. Um, and it's really difficult to get the right camera for your needs. I think the perfect camera still doesn't exist. So we're going back and forth with trying different cameras. And we just, I don't know, we saw the RP. I didn't think the HD picture was really that 
good compared to the Euros are. That's my personal opinion. I kind of liked it. I like the Fisher prices of it and the ease right. of it. But if I you... saw that it's my yeah. fault. Sorry, hands up. It's me, not her. It's what me. can I say? This is a good question. Do we use the Surface Pro X daily or is it a side machine? Currently, it's a side device. Simple reason being is we have so many devices. Number one, number two is I have a work related laptop that I have to use. So I can't really use that many devices when I go to work for my regular job. Then I use the laptop that has been given to me for security reasons and Therefore, it is a side device as of today. So Jocelyn comes in with a great question. As soon as she has her Galaxy Watch Active 2, leaves the house and leaves the phone at home with the LTE version, the battery yeah. is draining hellish. Any tips? <laughs> no, not I really. I am so sorry. We don't have any yeah. tips because the battery drains. The LTE is searching. Mm. It is what it is. Pretty much searching for a signal all the time. And that's the reason why the battery drains. And the only reason or the only thing you can really do is shut off some applications or some background activity like location service. But then it kind of defeats the object having an LTE watch in the first place. But there are no tips we can give you really right now. Sorry. Reem Sahil asks whether it is possible to make a phone call on on the Tab S6 LTE with no phone nearby. Absolutely, yes, we did it on one of our videos, I seem to remember. Yeah. You can make a call on it, no problem whatsoever. Hello, I'm, I'm filming. Dude, you're calling me on the Samsung Tab S6 LTE version. Yeah, we actually had a recent comment on that video that person says, is he actually the only one who is making phone calls on his Tab S6 device? So that kind of fits in what you're asking. Yes, you can. And my favorite question, I love drones. Should you buy an Apple Watch? It really depends on your use case, but I'm gonna leave it up to you to answer that one. <laughs> I am 100% happy to be an enabler. If you are in the Apple ecosystem, 100% get yourself an Apple Watch. It is highly recommended. Well, thank you for that. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. We are super happy to answer them. Thank you again. Jens here from Autospace. Tony the Car Geek. Peace out.